Good morning. Happy Sunday morning. It's been a few days since I've been here. It's nice to be here from a very damp, wet south of England. But such is life. Such is life. Another one of them things down there. Look. Excuse me a second. Some of them are devilish. They don't want to. They don't want to come out. Ouch. Come on, you devil. That's part of it now. So lots to talk about. Um, first things first. Um, to David Waddell. Your steam train is on the way to you. Finally. Finally been able to, that's better, finally been able to send parcels internationally, which is great. So your steam train from the giveaway, your Airfix steam train kit, <clears throat> I think it was a mogul steam train you had, but that's on its way to you now, which is fantastic. Glad that it's been dispatched. Mentioning the giveaway... This month's giveaway is an Alpine miniature. It's on its way here somewhere. It's been dispatched. I'm hoping it'll be here by middle of the week. What I've actually done is I've bought two Alpine miniatures and whoever wins the giveaway I'll give you the choice of which one you want. You can have one and I'll have one. Because I have a storage box little storage box that I use and all that's got in it is Alpine miniatures I'm building up a little collection of Alpine miniatures so we'll be doing some of them at some point so if you want to enter for the Alpine miniature just put Alpine in your comment below the Alpine miniatures are one is an Italian Officer, World War Two Italian officer, one three five scale, and the other figure is a um, German infantry figure for the Russian front. Two very nice, very nice figures indeed. And I'll I'll give you the choice of which one you want. Whoever wins the giveaway, <clears throat> but hopefully they'll be here middle of the week. I would think so. So we'll say we'll do the draw Wednesday night. They should be here by then. If not, we'll just hang on till they get here. <coughs> Going horse for some reason. Don't know what it is. My World War Two British Airborne. I've been working on them, sort of. How can I say piecemeal? A bit here and a bit there. Then there's been days I haven't had the mojo to work on them, and then there's been other days where I haven't felt very well. So, you know, and then there's been days where I've not been able to work on them because I've been into other things. But I gave them a good crack yesterday. I gave them about, oh, another five hours yesterday, I think. And I'm going to give them a good crack today when I finish this video I know it's not very good lighting here but um, all the webbing is now done which is nice all I gotta really do for these now is um, hair And the rifles, or whatever else they're carrying, Piat, or Bren gun, whatever, Sten gun. 
just do them. I will probably scarf from the neck. I do that. Then they're ready for a wash. And then we're really moving then. Get them a wash. This time around, I'm not going to wish I could show you these better. Can I get a bit more light on this? This time around, I am not going to use Agrax Earthshade, which I did last time round. I consider it a bit dark. So I thought <coughs> this time around I would use something like Army Painter Soft Tone, something like that, I think. We'll have a grow with that, I think. Not quite so dark. This figure here, I notice, this figure here, I notice he's got stripes on his arm. He's actually a sergeant, so that's nice. Not a bad, not a bad, sorry, it's not a very good view. Not a bad representation of a Denison smock. I thought I saved myself, it's quite good. I'm more than happy with, with that. So yeah, looking good, looking good, coming along nicely. So we'll <coughs> get the munitions done in a bit. With some, um, I tend to steer clear these days of um, gum metal paint. I don't like it, it's too gloopy and I don't care much for it. So what I tend to use is, for the metal parts, I tend to use German grey and possibly highlight it with a little dry brush of silver or something like that. And use um, wood grain or something like that for the wooden bits. So that's our plan for today. Um, wet palettes. As you know I'm trying different wet palettes. <clears throat> and I said what I do is use the Jokochi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Tell, tell me if I'm wrong. Use the Jokochi palette next time round when I needed to change my chocolate box paper, I would go over to the Jokachu. I've started using the Jokachu palette. Now this comes with two sponges and a hundred papers and it cost me 16 pounds and 32 pence on eBay. So relatively inexpensive as wet palettes go. I have to tell you, my report on this wet palette is absolutely excellent. If you're looking for a wet palette, if you're not used to wet palette, you're, you're new to painting miniatures and you're thinking about trying a wet palette, get a Jokachi. Get a Jokachi. Or I still prefer my chocolate box I have to say and that is only because of the size the area it's got a bigger area I like for my style of painting I like a bigger surface area to work with but that's 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 just a personal thing. That's nothing against the Jokachi palette at all. The only thing I could say about the Jokachi palette is, and I'm sort of nitpicking, I suppose, now, is papers are slightly too big. You need to really trim them down. I would say a centimeter on two sides, you know, a short side and a long side, 
trim off a centimetre. Be about right because it does tend to lap up the sides of the palette a bit. And I like to have a gap down the side so I can put water in if I need to put water in if it's starting to dry out. I have one of these things everybody should have. And you can just squirt some water in the palette just to keep it hydrated. So papers are a bit a bit too big, really. That's the only fault I got with it. I thought it would irritate me having the lid attached to the base with like a hinge. I thought that would bother me. It doesn't. It's fine. Um, as regard to clipping it tight shut and putting it in the fridge all night and the concern is with these things that it'll condense up and then the water droplets will drop into the paint as happens with some um, some palettes it condenses up drops in the paint and then your paint goes all runny not a problem with this palette it just does not happen at all even if it's clipped shut tight just does not condense, it's amazing, it just does not condense up, there is not a problem with that issue at all. And I have to say with this palette, excuse me just a second, I'm looking for something, which I can't find, which I can't find, oh, here it is, that's what I wanted, excuse me, sorry for jumping out of screen. As regard to the paper in this palette is the best paper in any palette I've used thus far. It's absolutely fantastic. Normally with your paper on a wet palette you get it wet and you use something to flatten it out to get out the air bubbles and the wrinkles. I use this plastic card. That's what I use. I'm just to get out the air bubbles and the wrinkles. But you can never really get it 100% flat for some reason, I don't know what it is but I have to tell you with this paper this Chikachi palette you can get it, a card like this you can get a billiard table flat I don't know what it is but it's just excellent excellent paper, you can get a billiard table flat there isn't a bubble or a crease anywhere in the damn thing with a little plastic card, just scrape it out fantastic absolutely fantastic so I thoroughly recommend the Chikachi wet palette £16.32 it cost me on eBay 100 papers two sponges as far as um, the rest go like I say I'll still stick to my chocolate box because it's just a thing of I like the bigger size, that's all. But out of all the rest I've tried, that's the one thus far, the Jikachi palette. If you're thinking of getting yourself a wet palette, or trying out wet palettes for the first time for painting miniatures or painting whatever else, get a Jikachi. You will not be disappointed. Fantastic. We do have another one. We actually have another one here to try a wet palette so after we've done the Jikachi for a while we'll I'll show you the other one I've got and we'll try that one probably be the last one we try there's probably not many left we haven't tried now actually but this one this one a yeah, super nice super nice palette Jikachi I'm sure that's how you pronounce it Jikachi Somebody will come back to me and say, no, it's, it's blah, blah, blah. But there you go. Um, we've been keeping the postman relatively busy. One three five scale German anti-aircraft gun with gunner. The only thing you don't get with it, so a little bit disappointed, but no big deal. You don't get that wooden base, which is a little bit disappointing. But that's no problem. Sheet of balsa wood. And you make that no problem at all. And if you do it with balsa wood, it'll have the grain in it, like 
wood grain in it and stuff and it'll be fine but a very nice very nice model it didn't didn't cost me very much and as soon as I saw it I thought yeah that's a that's a handy little model same as I saw very inexpensive I can't remember what I paid now but it was very inexpensive So you get the bike, the rider, the... Um, I suppose, what, what is he? What would he be? Military policeman, I suppose. That gentleman there. And you also get the trestle and the pole and the signs. The signs are actually on the side of the box. But very nice, very nice. That'll come in handy for something. In fact, it was so cheap <coughs> can't remember exactly what it was but it was so cheap I bought two of them I thought the second one you could probably um, adjust his arm or do something with his arm to vary it and possibly put a different rider on the bike and it gives you the camo patterns on the back which is nice so that was nice so they, they'll go in the mountain. Anybody here tried? God, my voice is going. Anybody here tried AK Interactive paint? If you have, let me know. Let me know what you think of it. I bought some AK Interactive paints. I don't think I showed you these. Forgive, for, forgive me. Forgive me if I have showed you these and I'm showing you them again. I don't mean to. Has anybody tried these? AK Interactive Paints. Flesh and Skin Tone. Uh, World War II British. DAC. For DAC figures. Very nice. World War II US Army Africa Corps colours and Panzer colours So anybody out there tried AK Interactive Paints let me know what you think of them are they good? are they okay? I hope they're good because I bought six, six boxes so I hope they're good <coughs> yeah so we're going to give them a go at some point when we need them the other thing I bought <coughs> before I go quickly oh, my voice is going this morning is um, Hail Caesar 2nd edition I bought that, I thought I might as well have that on the shelf so I haven't really had time to have a proper look at it yet but that's nice, so I've got edition 1 and edition 2 but <coughs> grief. What I really wanted, which is proving very difficult to get, is the Britannia supplement. That's what I wanted. That was very difficult to get. And in fact, I had to buy another Hail Caesar first edition to get this because they came as a pair um, it still worked out okay good good for value but that's the only way I could get the Britannia supplement because they're proving quite difficult to get so that's nice I'll have a look at that when I've got five minutes so I, now, I now have a spare First edition, Hail Caesar. Anybody want Hail Caesar? First edition. So, um, yeah, that's me done. Really, that's me. That's enough. 
Um, gossiping from me. There's no clock on this camera now. Why is there no clock on this camera? How long have I been talking to you? Why don't they put a clock on this camera? They're, all, they're always updating things. Oh, there it is. It's down the bottom. 20 minutes. They're always updating things and they jiggle things around. On this phone, for instance, they're always updating things and they don't even ask you, would you like to be updated? You know, maybe I don't want to be updated. Maybe I'm happy with what I got. Don't just update things behind my back. And then I don't know how to use it because it's all changed. That doesn't that, that annoys me. I'm not going to swear. That annoys me. Such is life. There you go. There you go. So that's me. I'm going to get on with these British Airborne and paint the... Um... Paint the weapons. That's what I'm going to do. Paint the weapons and hopefully get all that done today. And then they'll be ready for a wash of... I think it's soft tone I'm going to use. It's an army painter soft tone. But they're looking nice. They're looking... Much like British Airborne should look. Which is good. So I hope you're all having a good Sunday. Um, pox and virus free. Because it's still about. It's still about. Um... Do the draw for the Alpine miniature. Wednesday, provisionally we'll say Wednesday evening. Hopefully it'll get here by then. Yeah, that's me done. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments. Um, keep posting the nice videos. And keep doing all the nice things that you do. Lovely community to be part of. Um, See you Wednesday evening.